Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning English. This is Colin. Hello, everybody. This is Cecilia. 欢迎大家收听早安英文 Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。Hi, Cecilia. You seem to be in a good mood today. I'm always in a good mood. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. True. No need to bite my head off. <laughs> I'm just joking, but that's an interesting phrase you used. No need to bite my head off. Yeah, yeah. Well, it means、uh, not to be so angry about something. Ah, 那大家注意了。如果你听到有人说 bite my head off， 不是说把我的头咬下来哈，这个太血腥了。他说的呢，其实是不要那么凶嘛，别冲我发火。So, Colin, are there a lot of phrases like that? Like what? They use body parts to express something. Oh, yeah. Why don't we talk about that today? 好，那今天我们就一起来看一看一些关于身体部位的有趣的表达。So, Colin, you use the phrase "no need to bite my head off." Are there other ways to say that? Sure, you can say、uh, "no need to." But you can also say you don't have to, or even make it a question like, "Why are you biting my head off?" I see. 就和中文一样哈，我们可以说，哎，你不需要冲我发火吧？也可以说，你为啥冲我发火？表达的意思其实都一样。What other parts of the body are used for interesting phrases? Oh, many, many. Um. Okay. Well, how about this one? Uh, cross your fingers. Cross your fingers for good luck, right? 食指和中指交叉的这种动作是在祈求好运，代表一种祈祷，对吧 ？Right, but、um, we also use it another way. You know,、uh, when we are kids, we cross our fingers behind our back. That means we can lie. What? 就是说，如果你发现一个人一边在讲话，一边偷偷比出交叉手指的这个手势，那就表示这个人是在说谎，是吧？他在祈求自己不要因为撒谎而受到惩罚。Yeah, yeah. You know, I don't know why, but I would tell my mom that I didn't lie to her because I had my fingers crossed, so it didn't count as a lie. <laughs> well, that's crazy. But how do they know if you are telling the truth? Oh, that's easy. We say, "Cross my heart." If you cross your heart, it means that you are telling the truth. Otherwise, God will kill you.、Uh, cross your heart. 在心脏前面画十字，其实呢，就跟我们举起三个手指头发誓差不多吧。我发誓我说的都是真的，否则就怎么怎么样，呃，天打五雷轰啊，以死谢罪之类的。You know, when we were kids, we had a, a little song.、Uh, Cross my heart and hope to die. Stick a finger in your eye. Wow, that's weirdly scary as a kid song. But you just say this as a kid, right? Well, yeah, but just saying cross my heart to mean I'm not joking.、Uh, we say this as adults too. So would your mother accept your explanation for lying? Ah, no. <laughs> My excuses for lying always fell on deaf ears. Your mother was deaf. Your mother 听不见吗 ？No, no, 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 no. It's a saying. Fell on deaf ears means you tell someone something, but they don't listen to you, don't pay attention to you at all. They can hear you, but they don't listen to what you say. It's commonly said about someone who listens to your advice. But doesn't use it. Ah,、oh, 就是说，呃，有些人说了又不听，听了又不做，是吧？那中文里面呢，有个成语叫做“充耳不闻”，还有个成语叫做“对牛弹琴”，还有一个叫做“一只耳朵进，一只耳朵出”，差不多都是这个意思。Okay, here's another one. Um, another body part saying is "have cold feet." Oh, I've heard this one many times. When a girl starts to get nervous before her wedding and she's wondering if it's a good idea to marry that boy, we can say she has cold feet. Uh, yes, yes, but boys get cold feet at weddings too. Well, I wish my future husband isn't one of them. <laughs> 那我们什么时候会两脚发凉啊？就是特别紧张怯场的时候，对不对？那比如说啊，有个女孩子她马上就要结婚了，突然觉得两脚发软，想临阵脱逃了。
。那中文里我们说腿软，英文就说脚冷。But you know, having cold feet about something is not just about weddings. It can really be about anything. It just means to be very nervous to do something that you have chosen to do. Ah,、oh, 就是说这个短语不只可以用在婚礼这种情况，是吧 ？So I can have cold feet about going to dentist next week. Yes, yes, you can. Most people do. <laughs> There are more phrases using feet, aren't they? Yeah, like、um, having two left feet. If you have two left feet, well, you can't walk or play sports or anything like that. You will fall down often. Right. It means you're clumsy. 那大家想象一下，如果一个人两只脚都是左脚，他走起路来是不是会特别困难，而且老摔跤啊 ？Have two left feet 就是说一个人笨手笨脚的，他肢体有点不协调。Yeah, yeah, and you know it's commonly used to describe someone who dances poorly. He's a terrible dancer. He has two left feet. Now, hey, have you heard of this saying? Put your foot in your mouth. Put your foot in your mouth. Why would anybody do that? Well, it means、uh, to say something by accident that embarrasses or upsets someone. For example,、um, maybe you see an old friend that you haven't seen in a long time, and she looks a little different, and you ask her, "Hey, when is the baby due?" And she says, "What do you mean? I'm not pregnant." <laughs> oh, this、这个、put your foot in your mouth, 并不是说真的把脚放在嘴里啊。它的意思是说错话了。一般呢，都是一些不合适或者令人尴尬的话。那就比方说 ，Colin 刚刚说的，你问一个人怀孕几个月啦，人家说我没有怀孕啊。哎，这也太尴尬了吧！要是我，我就立马买站票离开这个城市了。Yeah, you know, because you called her that because she's really fat and and not pregnant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We understand, Colin. By the way, when is your baby due? Hey, <laughs> just kidding. That's not a baby. <laughs> That's my beer belly. Are you sure? He don't do. <laughs> It looks too big to be a beer belly.、Mm. <laughs> like maybe you're having twins. <laughs>、uh, you know, from now on, I'm going to give you the cold shoulder. Oh, I'm just joking. Don't give me the cold shoulder. Don't ignore me. Give somebody the cold shoulder. 给某人冷肩膀，中文会说冷板凳，对不对？就是指冷淡某个人，不去理会他。Okay, okay. I've had a change of heart. I won't ignore you. Ah, that's so kind of you. A change of heart. That means Colin has changed his mind. Yay! But first, you have to apologize for calling me fat. I didn't call you fat. I just asked, when is your baby due? Yes, from looking at my beer belly. That's the same as calling me fat. Come on, apologize. I'm all ears. I'm all ears. That's a good one. It means to have my full attention. 就是我们常常说的洗耳恭听 Right. We use it all the time to show we are ready to listen to gossip. <laughs> well, there really are a lot of phrases used from body parts. Oh, you know there are many, many more too.、Mm. But I'm afraid that's all the time we have for today. Hey, <laughs> you still haven't apologized. Oh, it must have slipped my mind. I forgot. 那再给大家介绍个短语哈 Something slipped one's mind. 从脑海中溜走，就是说某事被遗忘了 All right, I gotta run. Colin is glaring at me. Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。So thank you so much for listening. This is Colin. This is Cecilia. See you next time. Bye. Bye.